Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here with some information, possible hints towards different commanders and new factions that we may be getting in Season 3, which might be a little bit sooner than we expect. So stay tuned, we're going to get into that in just one second. <laughs> Okay, so if you are not in the main Rise to War Discord, they recently added a channel which is called Revelations, and basically they posted a kind of cryptic message uh, that had a key that you could break uh, the different message down and figure out what it was saying. I'll post a picture of that up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but long story short, people have been working on this and and figuring out kind of the main gist of it. And then very recently, uh, I guess um, it's, it's been a little while since it's been out actually, Anibis, who was the creator of this event uh, in the Discord, it looks like, posted a grammatically correct and kind of full version of this. That way we could kind of clearly see what was going on here. Uh, so we have this here and it seems to hint towards some different things. I don't know why they would post this outside of it being information that's that's of things to come in the game. I also want to butt in, I didn't mention it, but it does say season three in this picture at the top of the book. So this is 100% hinting towards season three. I was kind of theorizing at that. Uh, but there's, there really shouldn't be a question here. And even if you download this file, it says season three in it as well. So this is information on season three. All right, back to the video. Uh, so I'm assuming this is going to be directly linked to some things we are getting in season three. So I've been reading through this. I broke it down into kind of different sentences so we can, so we can uh, get through it here. So uh, while we wait for the game's maintenance to end and we can get into things, I'm going to go ahead and read through this and give you my thoughts. And I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think. Uh, and if there's anything you think I missed in this area, but let's go ahead and jump into the post. Starting out, by the way, this is Bilbo who's talking the whole time. So to give you some context of what's going on here, it says, hello, my dear reader. I recently returned from my trip and I want to tell you about my adventures. Sit by the fireplace as you like and get ready to hear my story. It all started as usual. I was resting in my shire, smoking a pipe of good pipeweed, the taste of which I have known since childhood. But my rest was interrupted by a tall old man with a staff dressed in an old robe and hat. It was old Gandalf. He offered to help me in his business in the north of Angmar, and I gladly agreed. So uh, he's recounting a story where Gandalf shows up. Uh, again, the the text here might not be, I think there's like some different translation from different languages, uh, not the actual like Middle Earth languages that we were like un uncoding here, but actually uh, just in terms of uh, real world languages. But it just says, it was old Gandalf. He offered to help me in his business in the north of Angmar, and I gladly agreed. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. Uh, but And then it says, since there was little time to get fully prepared, I took the necessary things, and then we hit the road. The path so long that we had to go through the valley of the Anduin and Karak instead of passing by Angmar. This year, I began to meet familiar creatures less and less. Apparently, their population has decreased. I wonder why this has happened. So he is seeing familiar creatures less and less. Whatever familiar creature he is referencing is um, being decreased. I'm not sure if this if this is in reference to Bayorn, uh, the the Bayorning we see in the Hobbit, and a possible a commander uh, being Bayorn himself. Uh, that would kind of make sense since they use the um, the term creatures as opposed to like dwarf or elf or human or whatever. Uh, but some population of some creature has decreased, and he's wondering why. Uh, continuing on, it says, On the way, we visited Lothlorien, where Celeborn was already waiting for us. So, uh, I again, there's no reason to think we wouldn't get Celeborn. He's he's a huge character in the lore of Middle-earth, uh, so I would assume we'd be getting him. I don't know if this is confirmation, but it seems like a random name just to drop in some story like this. Uh, so, I would assume that would mean that he is going to be coming in season three for us. So very powerful elven commander. I would be pretty surprised if he's not a tier three, but we'll see. He told us that two certain creatures broke free from the tombs. They are tire tireless and merciless. They are driven only by the will of the ring. So it sounds like he's talking about the tombs that the Nazgul are imprisoned. So that could mean we're getting two more Nazgul commanders with, if, if my math is right, I think that would be seven Nazgul commanders. We'd have seven out of the nine which seems pretty crazy that we already would have that much of them, but I am a sucker for the Nazgul. I think they're the coolest evil commanders, even if they're like not the best Nazgul. I just, I, I really like them. So happy with that. So again, I would, it would seem that we might be getting two Nazgul. Uh, then it says, we walked around the city and noticed new architects. They are going to reconstruct or build something, but we left early. So uh, architecture, architects, building something or reconstructing something. I would assume this might have to do with new buildings or maybe buildings we already have in the game that are going to have different functions or purposes if they're going to be reconstructed. Uh, again, we'll see for sure, but I would have to, I would assume that has to do with some kind of 
building or structure that that would have a new purpose in season three after having the rest in lothlorien we moved on it was difficult it was a difficult road snow and blizzard frost and rain thunderstorm all this made our journey difficult this could be be totally random in the writing but i would be curious to see if they're going to be adding some kind of a weather effect into the game a lot of games have different weather effects that depending on what the effect is there's different things that happen into the game or different things might happen more or less depending on what type of weather it is. So uh, maybe they're adding weather effects into the game. I have no idea, uh, but it, it seems a little bit random to throw in such descriptive weather things here. Uh, but then again, it could just be that. But uh, who knows? We might be getting weather patterns in, uh, in, in Season 3. I met six creatures unknown to me, most of which are best not disturbed. Uh, so again, we get a reference of six creatures... I have no real idea what that could be uh, left not disturbed makes me think they're, I don't know, evil something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what that means, but not sure there. In the north, we reached lands that I didn't even know about. Can you imagine? Gandalf realized that the northern fortress had regained life. So he's referencing lands he didn't know about. Maybe that just is, is hinting at more new lands or different things divvied up differently. It could also just be Bilbo not knowing what's going on. Um... He told me a tale from the creatures that live in it about their ferocity, about the dark entities that do not know what peace is. After the long journey, I returned to the Shire with some trophies. I have heard some rumors that villains had appeared in the south who are plundering the nearest cities. They are called pirates, and they are very hostile, and they are driven by power and profit. Again, pirates seems like a kind of random race just to drop in here as like some trouble you're hearing about. Uh, so I would possibly think we might be getting another pirate type of commander to go with uh, more evil men type of troops maybe just a new troop type in general we'll see there darkness descends on middle earth i can feel it i can feel the darkness and the sadnesses are everywhere the rays of the sun cease to give off warmth and the breath of the wind and the rustle of branches bring me some kind of ominous sign this year turned out to be a famine year lean hunger begins to pursue village after village I could tell you many stories, but I think you are tired and need a break. Thank you for listening to me, your Bilbo. Entry 10 from the Diary of the Keeper of Secrets. So, again, we don't get any actual clarifications of it saying this new thing is happening, uh, but it does sound like we're getting some hints at some possible new locations. Uh, Celeborn is specifically name dropped, so I'd be shocked if we aren't seeing him very soon. Uh, with that, we also get mention of two Nazgul. So again, it seems strange to mention two Nazgul breaking free at this time. Um, so I, again, to me, I would, if I had to guess right now, I'd say we're getting two more evil commanders that are going to be Nazgul. We're going to get Celeborn. Other than that, everything is just totally speculation. Uh, it mentions um, a a creature that is not seen very much anymore, maybe like a Bayorn type of commander. So you could have Celeborn and Bayorn and then two Nazgul as like a two pairs of commanders, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and there's some other things that, that you could definitely read into a lot. Uh, but again, I'm going to do some research on this, see if there's anything else that sticks out. Uh, you know, if the weather is just a weather description or if maybe we are getting some kind of a weather feature in the game, I don't know. Uh, but if you have any thoughts, go ahead and leave those down below. I'd love to get this discussion going so we can figure out maybe what's going to be happening. Uh, probably, I mean, again, if they're dropping news like this, again, it's just the early stages of this stuff coming out. Uh, season three might be a little bit closer. I still thought we had quite a while before that, uh, but... We could be just a few weeks away if, if they're starting to drop information like this. So hopefully, uh, if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with the news on the Rise to War. Uh, basically, anytime there's new stuff like this coming out, I'll try and post a video on it so you can stay up to date. But that is going to do it for me in this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh -huh.